Rewards are super hard in Guild Wars 2, though, right? Like, it's it's hard for them to give anything that feels really, really rewarding because they're very limited on what they can give you. They can't give you better gear. They can't really give you mount skins either. So they're very limited on what type of rewards they can add into the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you do all four of the CMs, you get the infusion now, which I think is pretty yeah. cool. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the harder ones give you more gold as well, which I think is really good. Uh, uh, I don't think it's enough gold, though. I'm going to be real here. I think... Uh... I, th I think the problem is, is that it's a weekly reward, right? And mm. and for me, you know, that's always going to be, it's always going to suck. Um, we need we need more reward mechanisms, guys. Okay. Petition arena net to add player housing in okay. the next expansion, so we can have like furniture rewards. Just saying. Okay. The I, I don't. I don't want to be a doomer, but don't you think they wouldn't actually put anything like that in the game? It would oh, all be I mean, cash up. Yeah, it would all be cash up. You, you are right, buddy. You are right. But like, you know, look, okay. I am currently coped up on other games doing different stuff, right? <laughs> so I, you know, I believe, right? I believe that ArenaNet's a company where Grouch is the big man, could do amazing things, but will the finance team let him? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows, indeed. Yeah, they yeah. could add a furnace, furnace decoration. I yeah. Think. <laughs> and then you could take the furnace as well. It's like, that's yeah, a good exactly. name, right? You carry yeah. it around and link it with you. Yeah. I think that, you know, the strike CMs, like once, I, th I think that, yeah, sure, when there's only four of them, it's going to be like, oh, okay, right, like four a week. That's like, you know, that's like a decent amount. But I think they're, ma they're really thinking about when it's going to be 10 strike CMs a week. All of a sudden then, that's actually quite a lot of gameplay. A lot of gameplay time. And it's also a very hefty reward if they keep it up like that, right? It's going to be very juicy. Yeah, you know, I, I think it would be really nice if you if there was, like, a, a bit more replayability to it. So you could, like, yeah. grind them out a little bit to an extent. Like, maybe you keep getting shards. Like, at least the green shards. As opposed to, you know, just getting more and more gold. Rewards are super hard in Guild Wars 2, though, right? Like, it's, it's hard for them to give anything that feels really, really rewarding. Because they're very limited on what they can give you. They can't give you better gear. They can't really give you mount skins either. So they're very limited on what type of rewards they can add into the game. I think the big thing they could go for is stuff like infusions, right? Which is kind of what they're doing, right? Um, they're trying to make infusions like the 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 elite in-game thing that you can get. And legendary gear and stuff, I guess. Yeah. They can. I mean, they don't want it. Well, I mean, it can and not want to are, are kind of the same thing here. Um, they very deliberately keep certain rewards completely isolated to the gem store because they don't want to... In, in a way, they don't want to set a precedent, really. Because they want to make money, right? They need to make money. This is actually, I, I think, I'm going to be real here. This is actually a mistake on ArenaNet's part. I don't mm. have their finances, okay? Mm. But I'm going to say, on a theoretical level, yep. the lack of aspirational rewards mm -hmm. and coinciding aspirational content does not keep people in the game long. Okay. I think there are a lot of casual people who, who log in and play for a bit and then log out. But if imagine if every patch, every every strike CM, it was the hardest thing ever to come out prior, and it had a cool mount that came with it, and a flashy title, and people were excited and were like, "Wow, I want the new item. I need it mm -hmm. in my life. Yep. If I do not have it, I might as well uninstall." But we don't actually want them to uninstall because that's actually counterproductive. Okay. The the problem that basically it comes down to a lack of aspirational contents um i and and rewards to go with it i think drives a lack of engagement in harder content in as okay. is in guild wars 2 um I, I i that's my opinion i think a lot of people will disagree um yeah. but that, that that's 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 it really so that's what what do you think you think mount skin for beating all four cms something like that Oh, no, I would actually go further than that. Oh. Within a specific time and no deaths. Oh, wow. So you'd go yeah. like try hard, like a try hard achievement yeah. activates a mount skin. That's big, actually. Yeah. That is big. Yeah, I think I think you should be, you know, saying to people, yeah, you want, you want this really cool, flashy, I don't know, like Jade's Warclaw. I don't know. Warclaw is probably the worst example. Jade, uh... Griffin, okay? okay. You're gonna go beat the. No, actually, better. Sorry about the car. Better example would be Void, 
Dragon Ooh. Void Griffin. Okay. You, know, you know people would live for that shit, okay? Dragon Joy Dragon Void Griffin, okay? And yes, Cinder, I know it would never happen, but you know, I'm I'm coped from other games, okay, like I said. You give yeah. that for completing all four strike CMs within certain timers and with zero deaths, kind of like Eternal title, right? Do and you think? Uh, do you think that there's any alternative um, kind of reward they could give to players that would function the same way? I'm just kind of thinking, like, it, it, it's it's probably not going to be mount skins. But is there another type yeah. of thing? Like, isn't infusion I, I, isn't like infusion good enough? Like, if you had like an I, infusion, I, 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 be, is that good? Enough? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Infusion is a great option. Okay. Um, I think that they could also do golden titles. This is something I've suggested in the Ooh. past. Ultra elite um, kind of achievements should be giving golden titles. Okay. Um, I know people, the, the title system is kind of irrelevant because like, you know, for handing in 10 apples, you get a good apple title. Okay? <laughs> Sorry, Mala, but it's dog shit. Okay. <laughs> like the... It, the reality is, is that having gold, like something that stands out, you know, you see, okay, you see, I don't know, like Sindrana, right? And he's got gold in gold, God of PvP, okay? Maybe God of PvP and God of the Arena, maybe a bit sketch because we'd probably need new titles because of the win trading <laughs> in the past, okay? But you get the idea, right? God of, actually a really good example, God of Worldly World and Fractal God, right? That they're, they're two easy ones that they could have it as gold, right? Because those are quite big elite achievements. And then you include stuff like that in there, right? And I, I feel like with really, really stringent DPS checks and whatever, purely added as cosmetic for the elite of the elite players, it can do that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, and you can have it at such a point where it's basically unsellable, right? You know, let's say you add a a requirement for I don't know the nuke strike CM, and it basically requires every like an average of I don't know let's say thirty five k DPS across all players, in order to beat the time check. You know, th that's something they can just add as an achievement. No, don't have to add achievement points to it. Just give a golden title for it. Boom, the raid it will make the raid and like strike and fractal community. So goddamn happy to do that. Yeah. Because and it'll be very me, sweaty to do it first as well, right? People yeah, are gonna go crazy exactly, for it. Exactly. Exactly. And that's where you can have your really cool world first races. Yeah. Right? You can have your your really your really cool, like it, it's you know, stuff like that is I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's so easy to do and would be so exciting. It brings so much energy and hype to the table. Yeah, duo of destiny, right? They only, oh man, they only ever did one two v two tournament. Actually, that's that's the, the only one. I actually think someone who has it, by the way, um, I, I think there's less than four duos of destiny now because I think someone who had it doesn't have their account anymore. <laughs> yep, you, you are correct. Yes. <laughs> Unlucky. No winners in PVE. Well, I mean, there can be. Um, you know, you could, you could. I don't think they would ever add a title like this, but I really like stuff like they have in WoW. So you have like ahead of the curve and um, cutting edge or bleeding edge or whatever it is um, in those games. Like the first, if you if you if you kill it before the next tier, basically that next raid, then you get like a title, basically um, stuff like that. So yeah, I, I think that stuff's pretty cool. I don't okay. think they would ever add that though, to be honest. <laughs> Another thing they should add, okay, collection logs. Yes, I mean, like I would go even further. Rework the entire achievement system and like achievement panel. Like it, it, it it's shit. It's shit. Um, yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Um, but I, I think that at a base level, okay, I'm not I'm not talking about reworks of like achievements or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, at the base level, adding stuff like collection logs for acquiring every single or unlocking every single raid weapon skin mm -hmm. that's kind of cool you know you could cool. if you want to go for like ultra hardcore levels you could say you have to drop the skins Ooh. Uh, you know oh you know? yeah 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 yeah. drop yeah. every skin yeah, yeah yeah that's big yeah drop every skin yeah i'm yeah. just saying okay i'm just saying right i personally would prefer that system because you know i like i like the dopamine i like the dopamine okay yeah. but um you know, I get it if people would want to just, like, be able to buy them. Um, 
I, I think more optional side objectives like that need to exist. The, some of the hardcore, you know, raid achievements need to exist. Um, it, it, stuff like this is, I think, really, really good for keeping hardcore players in the game and interested and actively working towards goals that aren't necessarily vertical progression. Yeah. Um, and that's that's ultimately what it comes down to. Um, so, yeah, it's there's some cool stuff that they could do. There's some cool stuff they could do. It's like a bit of a side thing here. By the way, guys, just because something can be sold doesn't mean it's unsatisfying to get. For example, yeah. um, watch any streamer who's going for voice in the void like doom cm when they kill it um they're fucking happy right they're going holy shit that was epic right that was so much fun right oh my god we're gonna do it you know like you know everyone knows that when you kill it for the first time you're hyped up right you you know you're really hyped even though yeah it gets sold like it gets sold in seven man groups all the time it doesn't make it any less satisfying to get it yourself um just because something doesn't have to be like really hard um, to be satisfying. For example, collecting every raid skin in the game, it's not hard as such, but it would still be satisfying to do it, right? It's the same thing with Fractal God. Fractal God isn't hard. I mean, it's literally a grind. You just grind like fractals every day for a year, but it doesn't mean it's mm -hmm. not like a rewarding title to get. And, you know, you'd go like, holy shit, that's pretty pog, right? You know, I've, I've, I've completed the grind or Ultimate Dominator or God of World versus what or whatever, right? Um, just because it's not, it, just because it's not necessarily like mega exclusive, um, it doesn't mean that it's not cool. I think skill titles are really fun, like the PvP ones, like Best of the Best or God of PvP or whatever. Uh, I think that stuff is definitely really cool, uh, but it doesn't have to be. Like you can have a title that isn't skill related that can still be really satisfying to go for, right? Um, I mean, I, technically speaking, something like Fractal God is not skill related. Um, it just takes a lot of time, right? Yeah, like, exactly. It, it's. Uh, um, you know, I, I, you know, this is where I say something controversial. You know, the ascended rune idea. You know, just add those to the CMs. You know, just, just saying, Ooh. right? You know, yeah. Uh, they, they've got to be a little careful. Um, you got to be a little careful, I think, right, oh, I with know. with doing some of this yeah. stuff because it, it. I mean, look, people freaked out about the turtle, right? Like the fucking siege turtle. Like if you started adding like vert, well, semi vertical progression. Um, locked behind doing the CMs, dude, people would lose their fucking shit. Oh my it's god. It's interesting, actually. Um, the way that ESO <laughs> kind of dealt with this, this is like all the raid gear, um, it has a unique buff on it that says like it, you do 5% extra damage in raids or raids arenas and like which are like solo based, mm. right? Um, and so it's like only it doesn't work in the open world, but it, it just works in the content that you get it from. I think that's, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously. You know, Guild Wars 2 is never going to go down that road, but um, I think it's I think it's really important um, to look at what other uh, uh, other places are doing, um, and and kind of say, okay, that's some that's some interesting ideas, right? Like maybe maybe we tweak this a bit, or maybe we could like you know it opens up your thinking. Mm. Um, I think Guild Wars 2 has become very stagnant. In the past, they've had this mentality. Uh, Arena's had this mentality of like, but let's try and reinvent some stuff. Let's see if we could find a new alternative route um that um, i think it's been stagnant for too long um particularly when it comes to balance and how you progress your character look gamers gamers listen to what's actually being said here like we're discussing some design <coughs> choices that other games might do better than guild wars 2 because look let, let me ask you this seth do you really think that there's nothing that <coughs> other MMOs do better than Guild Wars 2. Like, literally, l n nothing. Like, nothing. There's no... If you look at ESO, every part about it is strictly inferior to Guild Wars 2. Right? No. You know, and, and you know, you don't have to like ESO. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't, right? I've got no idea. Right? Um, But I would really encourage you to, to kind of engage critically with video games. And not just have like this like blind allegiance um, to like one game, right? Like criticism is yeah. super important. Um, and uh, honestly, video games do this all the fucking time, right? Like game devs look at other games and go, damn, that's a really good idea. We should add that to our game. Look, hey, look at Blizzard, right? They added the Skyscale and the Griffin to their yeah. expansion. They added Fractals to their game as well. Um, and it worked out extremely well for them, by the way. Um, yeah. To be honest, I think... Um, Guild Wars 2 could learn a thing or two from some of the things in WoW anyway. 
to be frank, actually. But And I'm sure the same is true of, um, of Final Fantasy. I'm sure the same is true of World of Warcraft. It doesn't mean that Guild Wars 2 is a bad game. It just means it's an imperfect game. And other games have strengths and weaknesses too, right? You know, there's so many... Whenever I'm playing a game, right... Um, I'm always, I, I, I'm kind of always comparing it in my head um, to what to what's going on elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I when I play Guild Wars 2, uh, ESA even, I miss the reactiveness of the the combat, right? Like I want yeah. to dodge, like yeah. you know. And I remember playing New World, right? And I wanted to dodge, but I couldn't because I was locked into my animation. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't, really didn't like that. Okay, because mm -hmm. like, I was thinking to myself, man, you know, Guild Wars 2, I could just cancel an animation on the fly and like dodge and you know all of this stuff, and it just felt smoother and better, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then when I'm playing Guild Wars 2, I'm thinking to myself, wow, these, the, the lack of stat sets and whatever is like, it's boring. Like the combat is very, it's very static. It's not, it's not exciting and interactive as much as I, I'd like, um, you know, and then, you know, when I'm playing, you know, Guild Wars 2, like, I'm thinking, you know, oh, wow, I wish the loot systems were like they are in RuneScape because like, I really like those loot systems. They feel really rewarding and, and all that sort of stuff. 